By 2013, six out of every 10 Ugandans struggle to access good services at health centers due to the lack of medicine and neglect by medical staff. This study was conducted by Sauti Zawananchi. To solve this, Praveen Kumar, the lead innovator at Mediquick, says they have developed an application to deal with emergencies. When you search for a particular hospital in Uganda, very few hospitals, very few popular hospitals have their websites and have the presence on digital platforms. And all other small clinics where there are very good doctors, they're specialized, they're more, more experienced, but they don't have a digital presence. When I'm, see, even sometimes when I'm registering these particular doctors and hospitals, I want to get the coordinates of those hospitals. When I search for them online, I could not find some. The application is available for all mobile phones and has a simple user interface where the user logs in via Facebook or Google Mail. The user is then able to find contacts, services offered, and locations of various health facilities and health workers subscribed to MediQuick. It also includes the bio data and consultation fees of the listed health facilities. Kumar says the application benefits both parties. In the second phase, we are targeting pharmacies as well because we want to make sure all the people will get the medicines at the right time to their homes at a very best prices. Some of the doctors who attended the launch appreciated the innovation. The medical version, I hope I'm right. Yes, of Safe Border, of Oba, of Jumia. So, so it's really going to make life very, very easy for the clients, but also for us, the doctors. With this app, they definitely know if I have a toothache, I don't go to an orthopedic guy. I, I definitely look up for uh, a dentist. There is no doubt that innovations provide safe, affordable and efficacious solutions to many current global challenges. That is why governments are being urged to support, sustain and fund them. In the last financial year, the information and communication sector was allocated 146 billion shillings, an amount some experts feel is still insufficient. However, the move to reduce the costs of accessing internet services and setting up a mobile phone manufacturing industry in the country can be seen as a step towards Sustainable Development Goal 9. The goal targets investment in infrastructure and innovation as crucial divers of economic growth and development. With over half of the world population now living in urban areas, investing in scientific research and innovation will prove to be important to facilitating sustainable development. Walter Mwesije, NTV.